UPMC Kids Church. I'm Sarah. I hope you've been enjoying all our lessons so far. Boys and girls, are you excited to know more about Jesus? If there's anything you don't understand, make sure you ask mom and dad. I'm sure they will help you. So are we ready for today's lesson? Let's put on our listening ears to hear God's words today. Hello, IDMC Kids Church. How are you today? I am Rachel. Today is a special day. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. Well, yes, it's actually Mother's Day. I have a special lesson for you. And at the end of the lesson, we shall make a special craft for your mom or grandma or aunt. But first, are you ready for a time of praise and worship? Let's stand up to our feet. great song. God loves to hear His children praise Him. Let us pray as we begin our lesson. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you that we get to celebrate Mother's Day. We pray that you help us to listen well and to do what you say in your word. Bless our moms too in a special way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us look at our memory verse for this week. If you have a Bible with you, you can turn to Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 1 to 2. Hi kids, it's Tammy here. Let's read today's memory verse. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honour your father and mother. Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 2. Let's say it again. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honour your father and mother. Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 2. Oh man, ham and cheese sandwich again. My mum made me this last week also. Really? But at least you've got a ham sandwich and you know, you're lucky that your mum made a sandwich for you. She loves you so much and she cares for you, so you don't go hungry today. Did you thank her this morning? No. Well, I think our mom do 
all sorts of things that we take for granted. For example, she drives us to school or maybe brings us to dancing or soccer or things like that. Or maybe she cooks for us, you know, and she helps us with so many things and she loves us so much. So I think we should be thankful to her. Yeah, that's true. I love it when my mom cuddles me and tucks me in bed every single night. She smells really nice. I should thank her and finish this sandwich. Yeah, that's true. And I think it's good that you do that. You know, we should always be thankful to our moms. Remember our memory verse we just read earlier? It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honour your father and mother. What does honour mean? Let us watch this video to learn how we can honour our moms. My mom is awesome. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you about Mother's Day. Yeah, and how we can honor our mothers, how we can honor our moms. Now for me and my family on Mother's Day, we like to show my mom how much we love her because she does so much for us. She really does. She does so much for my family. And so on Mother's Day, we, we let her sleep in and we give her breakfast in bed and we write cards for her and we get her little gifts and, and we try to do all these nice things to show her how special she is to us. And you know, it's interesting because in the Bible, you probably know this, but in the Ten Commandments, it says that we should honor our father and mother. And that's the first commandment with a promise. It says that if we do that, if we honor our fathers and mothers, then things will go well for us. But usually when people are talking about the Ten Commandments and they get to the honor your father and mother part, they say, you know, obey your parents. And if you honor your mother, then you're going to be obeying her. So that makes sense. But you can totally obey somebody without honoring them. And that's not what God wants. God wants us to honor our father and mother. You know, my neighbor's cat is the worst. I usually think of myself as a dog person, but I've known several cats that I really liked, but not my neighbor's cat. He is so gross. He always knocks over our trash cans and gets in the garbage and eats it. And he always makes a huge mess. It's disgusting. And if we hear a trash can get knocked over, we always open the window and say, hey, get out of here, cat. And he'll always obey us, but he always does it real sassy, right? You know, he doesn't talk, but if he could talk, he would totally be like, yeah, fine, whatever. I'll get out of here. I didn't want your garbage anyways. <laughs> yeah, so he like obeys us, but he doesn't really care about us at all. If he honored us, if he cared about us, then he would, you know, not knock over our trash cans. Or if he did, he'd at least apologize. And so honoring your mom is a lot more than just obeying her. When you honor your father and mother, you are valuing them highly. You're being grateful for them. You are respecting them. You care about what they say and how they feel. And so the stuff we do for my mom on Mother's Day is totally an example of honoring our mothers. But we should be doing that all the time. Now, maybe we can't do all the things that we do for my mom on Mother's Day. Maybe we can't do those things every day. But when I sit down to write the Mother's Day card for my mom, I always feel really grateful for her because she's done so much for me. And I get this really happy feeling inside because I really love my mom. And you know, on Mother's Day, we pull out all the stops. We do all the nice things for my mom. And so maybe we couldn't do Mother's Day every single day. But every day we can show my mom that we love her. Every day I can show my mom that I respect her and honor her. It's not just about obedience. It's about love and respect. And so that's my challenge to you guys today is that you would honor your mothers. Not just on Mother's Day, but every day. Because if you do, things will go really well for you. It's the first command with a promise. Our moms are amazing. So let's look for ways this week that we can show them love and respect and honor. Thanks, Douglas, for the talk. I hope that we respect and obey our moms and honor them every day. We shall be making a simple craft to honor and thank our moms. We will be making an Honor My Mom Chatterbox. I'm sure that your mom will be happy and that you have made something for her to thank her for everything that she has done for you. Now let's get ready and excited, everyone. It's time to grab a blank piece of paper, a pair of scissors and some color pencils. You can pause the video or rewatch it if you have missed a step. So right now you've got scissors, color pencils, 
and a blank piece of paper. We're going to use this paper firstly to fold into a square. So from the tip to up here, we're going to fold it down. It's a triangle now and you've got a rectangle. This rectangle we will fold, make it open again. You can see a square here and a rectangle. We are going to use the scissors and cut the rectangle part. Now that we have the square, we're going to make more squares. So let's put that into half. Open it again and make it into another half on the other side. You can see four squares. We're going to fold one triangle, another triangle here, a third triangle, and the last one. Now you can see that I've just made a square. Let's flip that over and you can see that there are lines here. We're going to get the pointy tip and put it to the middle. There you go, we've got another square. Now let's open it all out again and start colouring it. We are now going to decorate this piece. You can choose any colour that you like and draw this line here. Follow the lines and make a square. With the outside circle, you can draw a small picture like a heart or a flower or a diamond or even a smiley face. We can colour it in too. Okay, now we have drawn our four pictures at the side. We are now going to add numbers at these triangle parts. Make sure that we write our numbers in words like this. So one, two, and eight. You can now write some nice things to talk to your mum about, or you can do her a favor too. For example, I will give my mum a hug. As you can see, I filled in all of the words here. For example, give mum 10 kisses, or I will give mum a back massage. I will give my mum a big hug. I will help to do the dishes. I will get water for my mum. I will pray for my mum. I will help my mum cook, or I will dance for my mum. So we're basically finished with our design and everything. We're now going to fold it back Fold it up where the pictures are in front here. Once you've got this square, turn it over again. Fold it. Fold it in half, the other half. And now put your hands through this section. Push it through and you've made it. Look at this. So you can do up or sideways. You can see the pictures. So your mom can choose one of the pictures and your mom can also choose the numbers. And there you go. You have just made your very own cheddar box. I hope you enjoy it. Once you have decorated your cheddar box inside, you need to write down or draw the different ways you can honor your mom. For example, I will tell her I love her. I will thank her for our yummy dinner today. You can think of nice ways to honor your mom too. Things like, I will give her a back massage or I will wash the dishes. I can pray for my mom. 
I'll give my mum 10 kisses. Once you're done with your honour your mum chatterbox, it's time to have fun and play a game with your mum. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and craft today. Let's close with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for my mum. We love our mums. Please help us to honour and obey them. Bless our mums today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's all for today. I hope to see you next week. Don't forget to wish your mum a very happy Mother's Day and give her a big cuddle. Bye. Wasn't that a great lesson? Mums and dads, if you're listening in with your child, it would be most wonderful if you would help your child understand more about the lesson. I hope you join us again next time for more Bible lessons. See you and bye for now.